Hello everyone, hello all the lovely people out there. I hope you're having a great Sunday as I am. I'm off to ramble up a hill today. Um, I've, we've been saying for ages that we're going to get out and about. So today, with it being a lovely day, we're going rambling up a hill. It's not too far from home. You can see it from the back garden. Um, but I just thought I'm going to get out and about and get into the wilderness again and um, just have a break. So here I am. I'm up the hill coming down a mountain and I'm saying that because um, you may have seen that movie with Hugh Grant about the man who went up a hill and came down a mountain because the definition is pretty varied as to what a mountain is. It used to be um, accepted that anything above a thousand feet was a mountain. Then it was changed to 2000 feet. But there's a lot of other incidental things to consider. So it's basically left up to you to define what you think a mountain is. So I'm going up a hill, but I'm going to come down the mountain because this um, this hill or mountain does settle within the defin the old definition. It's about a thousand feet high. So. So I don't know what I'm going to see here. It's we're coming up off a bog. So there's a lot of moss about. There are other little plants like um, sedums and creeping galliums. There's also a lot of firs, but it's just so beautiful and green. When I look at all the rock in the landscape, it makes me wonder how people managed in the olden days when they were totally self-reliant. Um, if hard times came, you know, you would definitely suffer hardship and shortages of food. So people who lived here in the past were very tenacious and strong and they knew how to make the most of um, the earth and the sea. I've stopped to take in the view and I found this incredible, beautiful little fairy dell. And there isn't a cave behind me, but it's like a little cranny, a little nook. And there's lots of them around here. So I think this could well be a place where guardian land spirits are living. It's just beautiful up here. The size of these rocks, they're the bones of Mother Earth and my first love was the rocks and then I grew to love the plants but I just can't get over the size of some of these boulders that just regularly roll down the hillside and um, land wherever they, wherever they land. Mm. 
I'll just have a drink and then I'll be off again. The only kind of farming you can really do here is, is sheep farming because the, sh the mountainy sheep here in Connemara are well used to this kind of terrain. And um, you can't really do any other kind of farming because it's just too rocky. It's too steep, it's too rocky. The other range of mountains that we have here, the Twelve Bends, reputedly they are way, way, way older than the Himalaya, which is why they're very small in comparison. But um, they do still instill a sense of awe. The majesty and the, the hugeness of, of a mountain, of the rocks, of the terrain, It's food for thought as to where our place in the world is. Next to these huge behemoths of rock, we're just little, little dots. Oh, I think I'm close to the top because there's a cairn. I must say, um, it hasn't been as difficult as I expected, um, but I am beginning to feel a bit tired in the old legs. I feel as if I'm at the top, but actually there's a monument across the way there. That is the official top. So I'm going to have to carry on a little bit further. Onwards and upwards. It's a good job the grass here is so tough and hard and long rooted because I'm pulling myself up with it. Much, much windier up here at the top. I can see a 360 degree view now. I can see the ocean, the mountains, the lakes on the bog, everything is so clear. It's just stunning. Up here, we've got our natural heritage of earth, sea and sky. What more could you want? And even up here on the surface of this barren rock, you see evidence of life. You know, life just cannot be put down. You can do your best, or a person can do their best to, they can spray the ground, they can poison rats and birds, and it's to no avail because life always continues. And life adapts and comes in many forms, which you can see up here. Beautiful heathers and ferns and mosses. And I just, I really love rocks. And now I've made it all the way down, so I'm going to treat myself to a pint in the village of Roundstone. We went up a mountain and we came down the mountain and this is the reward. 
a fantastic pint of Guinness. There's drinking and eating in it. So cheers, everyone. I hope you've had a great day as we have. Got back in touch with the wild side of life and it was fantastic. Slauncher. Mm. If you'd like to know anything more about Danu's Irish Herb Garden, all the information is down below under the video. So see you next week. Slauncha. Mmm. Gorgeous. Delicious.